As your honor knows, this case involves a contract for sale of the famous Batmobile from the 1960s Batman television series. My client, Rajiv Deepocket, is the owner of the car which he purchased for $5 million. Mr. Dewey's client, Mr. Oilman, has agreed to purchase the car for $5,500,000. However, Mr. Deepocket has changed his mind and no longer wants to sell the car to Mr. Oilman. The evidence has proven that the current value of the Batmobile is no more than $5,600,000. Mr. Deepocket has offered to pay Mr. Oilman the $100,000 difference between the contract sale price and the current value. But that offer has been refused. Instead, Mr. Oilman insists that the car must be sold to him. The compensatory damages in this case are clear. What was Mr. Oilman's bargain? He was supposed to pay $5,500,000 and receive a car worth $5,600,000. The difference between the contract price and the current value of the car is $100,000. That is the value of Mr. Oilman's bargain. We asked this court to find that Mr. Oilman is not entitled to have that car and must instead accept money damages of $100,000. That money is perfectly adequate compensation for Mr. Oilman. Thank you, Mr. Gassman. Mr. Dewey, what do you have to say about all that? Your Honor, this is a perfect case for the remedy of specific performance. The usual rule is that money damages are appropriate in a breach of contract case. But if the contract is for sale of unique goods, money damages may not be sufficient. That's the situation here. The Batmobile is indeed unique. There is no other Batmobile from the 1960s Batman television show. This is a one-of-a-kind car. Therefore, this is a contract for sale of unique goods. Well, that's fine, but uh, what's wrong with your client being awarded? $100,000 in compensatory damages. Don't you agree that this amount represents the benefits of Mr. Oilman's bargain? He agreed to pay a certain amount for the car, but he would receive a car worth $100,000 more than he pays. So his benefit of the bargain damages is $100,000. Isn't that right? Shouldn't money damages be enough of a remedy? No, Your Honor, money will not do it in this case. The evidence is clear that the Batmobile has increased in value over the last few years. Mr. Deepocket purchased the car for $4 million a few years ago. The evidence now shows, as they admit, that the car is worth $5,600,000. It has increased in value by $1,600,000 in just a few years. In fact, it has increased in value by $100,000 just in the few months since this contract was made. But why does that make a difference? Because the Batmobile will continue to increase in value, the true benefit of Mr. Oilman's bargain is that increased value over the years that he owns the car. If and when he decides to sell it, he is entitled to receive that increased value. But that is an unknown amount. There's no way to predict how much the car will be worth a few years from now. Exactly. And that's why the only fair remedy is specific performance. Mr. Deep Pocket should be ordered to complete the sale and actually sell the car to Mr. Oilman. I agree with Mr. Dewey. Specific performance is the only proper remedy when the contract is for the sale of unique and rare goods. This Batmobile is unique. Money damages are not sufficient. I rule in favor of Mr. Oilman. Mr. Deep Pockets must complete the sale and deliver the Batmobile to Mr. Oilman. Yeah!